All right. Cool. All right. All right. Hi friends, I hope you're doing okay today. Um, it's been an amazing week for me. I hope it's been an amazing week for you. Today, I wanted to focus on a video about hauls. So many people focus on clothing hauls or what did you get at um, Target, at Marshalls. My haul is gonna be the immigrant person's dream haul. Why is it important for me to do this haul and why is it important to continuously bring stuff uh, from home, right? And to me, I was thinking about it. Um, why does this matter? And uh, I came up with two really important reasons. I'm sure that there are more, but one of them is it keeps us connected to home. So every time I put a piece of goat cheese in my mouth or a bolasha, uh, which is a sort of a biscuit of type. You'll see it on um, on the video. Um, I just feel like I'm right back in a bakery smelling it or in my grandmother's kitchen during tea time. So um, it just keeps me connected uh, to home. It gives me that home feel, right? And the second reason is that, you know, for people who have extended families, for people like my husband and I who have kids, it introduces our kids, the kids that are born in the US or abroad in any other country, it keeps the kids connected um, to home and int introduces them to home. Uh, my kids have been back to Cape Verde several times, and so they've been introduced to the food, but they absolutely love it. So every time someone goes uh, and comes back to the US, they're absolutely excited. They're always asking, where's the tuna? Where's the bolasha? And um, so it introduces our food to a new generation of Cape Verdeans, the children, and it keeps them excited. So, uh, so this is not just for Cape Verdeans. This is for all immigrant communities who are still very much connected to back home. You get to experience a piece of your home country whenever your people's family, friends come back and you either eat it or put it on like me and my fancy hoodie um, or your um, bracelets. You know, I carry still some of my um, uh, handmade bracelets in this, um, in my wrist. One of the important things that I'm hoping that um, people, especially my Cape Verdeans take away from this video is that um, it's important that um, you record hauls uh, food and uh, uh, homeland return halls because um, it varies from island to island. Like you've heard, I'm from San Vicente. There are nine inhabited islands. So the halls are gonna be different from island to island because the culture is different in the different islands. The types of food that people like are a little bit different. So I am encouraging and inviting um, Cape Verdeans to, you know, to record and to publish their hauls. I keep seeing them on Instagram and on Facebook, but put them out there, put them out there for people to see because it's really interesting and it creates memories for your families um, and you know the world's families to see how immigrant communities live. So I hope you do this. So during this trip, we got some guava spread that you can certainly eat with some bread. And we also got some Cape Verdean rum, which we call grog, made out of sugar cane. And we also got some ponch. Ponch is made out of grog and um, sugar, burnt sugar. We also love it when we get some decorations for the house and just little um, nice little gifts from our family and friends. Y'all, sucrinha has to be one of my favorites from my childhood. Honestly, it's just pure sugar and milk. It's not good for you, but it tastes so, so good. Eat the sugar cookie. Is it good? For sure. You know what I'm saying? When your parents, not your parents, when you come back from from the homeland, <laughs> this is this how you know. This how it word. Okay, give me that. This for order, you know what I'm saying? Give me that. He's got a tuna right there. That's the real tuna right there, though. You know what I mean? Sure. 
Boom. That's the real tune right there. That's right there. That this is the who owns the page. Queijada, which is made out of goat cheese. I think it's made out of grated goat cheese. It's not super sweet, but it's one of our favorite desserts in the Neff's household. The latte de thun has to be one of the most coveted gifts you can bring someone. Um, there's also cavala. I forget how to translate cavala into English, but someone can just go ahead and drop it in the comment section so we can all know. Bold mill has a uh, bread consistency and it's also made out of honey. And then you have snips, which is sort of um, is fried dough and you can actually have it in your um, soup if you want or eat it as a snack. So the pastel natas is a traditional Portuguese dessert and it's made out of custard. And you can never have enough t-shirts from home. Hmm. Song Vicent, you know. Represent. It's gonna look really nice. On oh God, nice color. Yeah. It matches the bag. Got to know that. You know what I mean? Good dress. The bag is not mine. The bag is not my hers. You know what I'm saying? Vin Representing. You know, one of a kind. Put all birds on. Looking like one a million a bucks. For sure that, you know what I'm saying? We got here. Custom made from me. Custom made. Yes. We get exclusive, you know what I'm saying? The exclusive. The exclusive. Last but not least, the king of snacks, bolacha, dos, and queijo. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video if you was feeling it like that. I appreciate you. See you next time.